Welcome to a board game review with theplayersaid.com. I'm Grant. And I'm Alexander. And you might be wondering who this fine fellow sitting in the middle of us is. This is Brum Ogden, our brother-in-law. Yes, I am. Can you speak? Yeah, it means I had no choice. Yeah, you yeah, had no choice. I'm related because my sisters made choices. Yeah. So we, we forced him to play a game with us this evening, and now we're going to review that game, give you some thoughts on it. The game we looked at today was Chariots of Rome from Victory Point Games. It's designed by Sean Young. And this is a press your luck, whip each other, race around yeah. the Circus Maximus in Rome, right? Yep. It's chariot race. That's what it is. Yeah, when you hear a chariot race, everything in here is what you would expect it to be. Absolutely. It is. Run around as fast as you can. Yep. Try not to die flipping on the corners. Try not to die. <laughs> trying to whip each other when you go by. Yep. Trying to ram, ram each, other each other into the sides. And, which is fun. And then you just try to <laughs> limp to the finish line yeah. with some kind of intact chariot. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you could see the board, there are two destroyed chariots. I thought we had another one. No, just, just two on the, on the very final. And the very final, because we all like threw it, threw caution to the wind. Yes. We all went our max speeds and drew a ton of cards and took damage. So yeah, once again, this game is pressure luck. It's about doing damage to each other, mm -hmm. trying to manage your resources, which I liked. I thought that was very a very cool thing. Yeah, we'll, simple, we'll talk about nice that. And easy. But in the end, it's a race. You're trying to get around the track quicker. What you can do is there are three speed levels. There's a slow speed, which is four spaces, mm -hmm. a medium speed, which is seven spaces, and a high speed, which is ten spaces. You can also, what's the word, Brum? <laughs> shimmy. We said shimmy, but it's <laughs> shimmy. shimmy. <laughs> you can shimmy your horses to gain a tri-die, which is a six-sider that only goes one to three. You roll that, and then you get that many extra spaces. So. You could be going, if at the high speed, you could go as high as 13. Mm -hmm. If you're whipping around that track doing 13 every time, you're going you're gonna to take a lot of damage, but you're also going to get out to the lead. But it's about managing that speed, and then your resources are uh, tactics points, which are used to shiver your horse mm -hmm. or do attacks, right? Your stamina, which is your health, and then your stress. Rattled. Rattled. Your, your rattled. Rattled. Or stress level. Basically. A horse getting scared on the track. You know, right. Your wheels getting cut up. Yeah. Hey, you're, you're, that kind of stuff. Are you able to hold it together enough to keep racing? So you're trying to manage those tracks. If you ever get six rattled, you're dead. You're done. If you ever t totally eliminate your stamina, you're dead. Yeah, your horses just give up. Yeah, they just die, mm -hmm. basically. And there is, a, there is a card in here that wounds the rider. Ah. You can take a wound as the charioteer. And I don't think we pulled that one. No, no. it's it's very rare, and it's, I think it's pretty much only, only on danger. And okay. it's like you you die, which okay. is pretty. So you're out of the race. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this oh. little blood symbol. Is, blood is you blue. take a wound, nice, which can kill you. But it's about managing those items, making sure you have enough of those to get you through two laps, and then really at the end, it's about pressing your luck. You want to go into the corners. Do you want to go faster? taking more damage cards mm -hmm. and being able to get ahead of your opponents. Do you want to do more attacks, which sometimes you get damaged, but sometimes you damage your opponents. Mm -hmm. So a lot of cool things, a lot of uh, random elements. Uh, there's a damage deck or an action deck. When you do an attack on someone like a whip or a ram attack, you're going to draw a certain amount of those randomly and you're going to refer to the lines that, that coincide with the type of attack. Yeah. Also, if you take action cards that need to be drawn as you're going around corners, yeah. you pull a card. And then if you ever get rammed into the wall things or, can get or other good. things might say, pull the danger card and those are bad. Yeah. So a lot of that randomness, we really like the fake cards. I thought the fake cards were very cool. How did those work? I don't remember exactly. So the, at the end of each <laughs> round, you roll the die. At the end of each round, you roll the fake die. And the fake die has a few symbols on it. Some of it's like, everyone gains a stamina or everyone gains a tactics. Right. But then half the symbols are you draw a fake card, and the fake cards are just like immediately everyone gets a couple of or everyone can reduce their rattle level, or right. or it's special things that last for the whole round. We had one where it was like attacks prohibited this round. That was the yeah, final that was round. the very end, and I I allowed that one because I had an ability to stop that because I didn't want to get whipped. Uh, and honestly, that made that all made the, the difference because I would have been whipped to, to oh yes heck and been dead guaranteed. Um, Brum, talk about the charioteers. So I like those. The there is a level of randomness to the game, and the idea is to help provide replayability. And so there is a stack of charioteers. How many are? 
eight, ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven we didn't use. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, right? Right. Yes. And so each one has a special ability. Some are obviously more prone to attacking, some are more prone to defense. Uh, some are just about giving a little bit of extra speed. Or in, in Grant's case, he had one who had the ability to basically influence fate. Uh, and so he, Very powerful. It was, it was very powerful. <laughs> uh, and and he, the number of times he decided to change fate. Now, he doesn't eliminate fate. He just draws allows it. He just vetoes one and we draw the next. Yeah. yeah. And so it does provide an opportunity where you will find... Uh, we went through all the other charioteers to see which one... Like, would hit our play style, and sure enough, there are ones where it's like, I would really like that one, mm -hmm. but the idea is it's supposed to be random. Yeah. You don't get to choose, you are basically drawn one. So it does create that element that makes it kind of more enjoyable, where you're like, let's see how this is going to go, and how does my strategy change. Mm -hmm. so, so a lot of those, I think the replayability of this game is going to be pretty high. You know, you can do not only longer races or shorter races. We, we couldn't do a longer race. Oh, uh, we would have been dead. We, we would have been yeah, dead. Yeah, there's like, no chance. One more round, and probably both of my horses. My guy was going to be dead. Your horses I would have won by default. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and was, <laughs> but we were pushing our luck. We were trying to please the emperor. get as much <laughs> speed and get ahead, and you know, the result ended. I won by one space. One space. You were one space behind me, and I'm telling you, that's half a space. Half a space, yeah, yeah. but that man, that came out of nowhere because you were a couple spaces behind me, and you just really, and that was awesome. I really liked that. He liked winning, is what he said. Well, I liked winning, of course, but so, so there is a lot of replayability, replayability in this game. Who is going to like this game, Alexander? Um, pretty much everyone. Yeah, it's this simple. is a very, you know. Widely appealing game. Yeah, the only people that might not like it are people who are maybe a little bit too sensitive by getting attacked a lot. Right. Because there is a, it's a <laughs> Take lot. Take it personally. Like, a lot. like the, the last, the second lap, the first lap was like, okay. Well, you can't attack it for the first thing. three rounds, right? Yeah, but then that the second lap, it was just like sonic. Smack, smack. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's whipping yeah. each other left and right. Everyone's ramming each other into the walls left and right. Well, I counted. Brum attacked me 13 times. I only attacked you six. No, I didn't. I, I didn't. But that's, yeah. but it's, <laughs> I still know, came in last. <laughs> the, game, the game is light-hearted enough where yeah. I'm not like offended by that. Yeah. Like in certain games, like when we play things like Cyclades, I take the game way too seriously. Right. And and like when people attack me, I'm like, oh, I hate you. But in this one, I did not feel that way because it's just like, right. who cares? We're just going through it. It's well, fun. I think this game was designed just to have fun. To and it definitely, honest. definitely. I does frank, that. while I wanted it was cool, I didn't really care. No, I just wanted to be in it and have some fun and yeah. try to take everyone out. I mean, that's what I was trying to do there near the end, and it just worked out for me. I, I think but, if someone wasn't going to like the game, it's because you can't develop a, a sound strategy because who goes first every round is just random. It's just a random draw every round to see who gets to go. You're, both of your chariots could go last. Yeah. If you really, you could get pretty hosed by that. Right? Yeah. If you're heavy into battle, it maybe benefits you. If you go last, but if you go first, you don't have an opportunity to attack anyone because yeah. you're going to be out front. And you True. had to have positioned yourself beforehand. So if someone is like, I want to have a game where I get to build a strategy and that strategy is sound through the bad. whole game, not going to happen. I think this is more of a game, try to deal with what you've been given. Absolutely. Right? So when you're last, you got to make the best of it. When you're first, you got to make the best of it. Yep. And I, I kind of like that. I actually really liked the random. I thought that was oh, neat. I loved it. Yeah, I, I thought that was a, an element that kept me, every time they were done, I was like, who's going first? Who's going first? But this takes the edge out of it as it well. It does. Which I like. Yeah. It keeps it light hot because they're like... You know, you know you're going to get hosed by the draws. So who cares? Right. I'm just going to go and smash and do what I can. Kind of right. Thing. It's okay. So what was your favorite part of the game, bro? So honestly, I liked it. And if I were to... if So I don't own this game, but if I did, I would homebrew my own rule where a fake card was pulled every round. Yeah, right. I love Just it. to add some it, it, uncertainty. It, you have a... Like, so There's I no reason strategy. you can't do that. There's not. It, it, they're not that breaking, but it does right. definitely change things. So he mentioned I attacked a lot. In the last round, I couldn't attack anyone. Because we were out in half, a front of you, yeah. right? Well, and then was, we killed ourselves. It was the fate card. Yeah, the true. fate card. That's says true. All yeah. tax, all tax are prohibited. prohibited. And so this, all of a sudden, what my strategy was, I was like, oh it's crap! Killed. And so you can't be one dimensional. And I actually really like that. But I would have. I, so I really enjoy the fate cards because they did change something. But you didn't always get a fate card. I think maybe right. half the game, half the rounds. We well, got because you're game. rolling a die, you have a fifty percent chance. Yeah, and I think there's. It's just a 50. We, we 50, had more fate than not. I felt like we did too. 
I felt that's, like we that's did. pure luck, though. Yeah. yeah. But that I would I would draw one every round. Okay. I, I think that the idea of the other three, or you just get something back, it's beneficial. Right. Is you not get a as, tactic or a stress right. gone. It, this yeah. is more what's going to happen. Right. And I, I like that element because it kind of goes along with the, how the rest of the game played. Yeah. Alexander, what do you like about it? Uh, I actually liked the action deck because it's a really simple way to to resolve a lot of things that happen in the game. It just you pull a card. There's four little sections on it. It says corner, ram, whip, danger. So if you need to draw action cards because you're going around a corner too fast, you it does that for you. You just revert to that line. If you're ramming someone, do the ram line. Yeah. If doing the whip line, like if you're whipping people, and that's the thing is each of these have different probabilities on them, each of those different lines. Mm -hmm. So when you do a whip attack, it's much easier to do a whip attack, but they're not nearly as effective. A lot, a lot more, more no, no effects. effects. Yep. Yep. When you do rams, it does it does more <laughs> more often, but when you ram someone, you have to draw one yeah, of those which as is well. Cool. Yeah. And so then you can get into pretty hairy situations. And then there's this danger line at the bottom, which is, you know, if you come up again, if you're getting smashed into a wall, or some some other situation, or another chariot, yeah, then you roll on the danger on the bottom, and it's there's like three symbols, and you might die. Yeah. It's, it gets pretty hairy that way. So I thought that was really just a si very simple system yeah. and very clean. Just you pull a bunch of those when you need to. I actually thought it was genius to put all four of those yeah. elements on oh, the same cards. Absolutely. So many other games would, would have had four decks, decks and, and it would have just been oh, yeah. a nightmare. So I liked that, that multi-use, multi-function card, it just simplified it. The part that I enjoyed the most was the management of your resources. <laughs> your tactics, your stress, or your rattled, and your stamina. I really enjoyed that. Trying to manage your speed. Yeah, yeah, you might. You sometimes need to go slower to right. to kind of relieve some of the stress, but then right. you're like, "crap, I'm now behind." Yeah, and, and there is an element of risk. If you go into a corner too fast, you automatically you're draw take more action cards. points. So yeah. you you can't just say, "Well, why wouldn't I just go ten the whole time?" You you not only do you draw action points going into the turn, but there are negative effects for the faster you go. Yeah, uh, and so the slower yeah. So you go. if you're pulling into the five lane and you're going ten speed, you're going to draw five cards. Yep. So you have the potential to get five negative effects. Yep. Now you can mitigate that by spending some stamina, stamina to draw one less or card or tactic, tactic, tactic to draw less cards. There was also a charioteer, not that we had, but that drew one less card. Yep. So you got to manage that. And there were times where I'm like, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to draw four cards. I'm going to see what happens. I would always take one or two things and there was almost always two no effects. Yep. That was the one thing about the cards I felt like Maybe they could have been a little rougher, but but then but then, then the game would have been over. It yeah. would have been over earlier. Literally, Brum would have been literally, racing literally around. Four yeah. of us it, would have been dead. If that, that's had true. To play yeah. one more so round. you got to realize that we didn't I realize think it was, ended up perfect. Yeah. We yeah. didn't realize it was balanced until the very end. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. The, the other thing I, I think this game production wise is very good. I think the cardboard's a little thin on these, but yeah, I, I like the horses. I think they look fine. The little standees. The cards are great. I think the board is neat. For what it is, mm -hmm. um, Sean Young designed this game. We did an interview. I did an interview with him, like in March, April of 2017, and he was a very interesting guy to talk to about this game and put a lot of time into the research of how these things work. So, I felt like this felt like Ben Hur. I mean, frankly, it yeah. felt kind of it was fun, the same. it was racy, and it was chaotic. Yeah, like you know, just smashing around. I felt like that's what it was. What would have been like? Right. Dangerous. So this game is is now available for sale, or has been for a while, at Victory Point Games. I think if you like fast-paced, we played this in about 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that was with six people. So it's not going to change from three to six players. It's going to be 90 it'll, minutes. It'll be much quicker with three Yeah, I, th I think, yeah. Yes. But I, I thought it is fat, generally fast-playing. There's a lot of player interaction, a lot of fun to be had. I think we had a lot of belly laughs mm -hmm. around the table. Me, the more the merrier. Yeah. It might be a little bit longer, but you know. Yeah, you're going to have more interaction, more fun. Yeah, if there's just three of you. Uh, I could also imagine yeah. if you had six and there's like four or five dudes in the back, there's going to be a lot of death dealing in the back. Who cares, right? You're going to lose. I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to go out in a blaze yeah, of glory. Yes. And that's kind of fun. Um, so overall, I enjoyed this a lot. I would definitely play this again. I don't know, Alexander? I, I would play this again, and I would play it with my family, and I would play it with my friends. Yeah. This isn't a game that's like, oh, would they like Deep this? strategy, yeah. yeah. Everybody's going to like it. This is one you whip out on game day on a side out, and everyone's going to play yeah. it. Yeah. They might, in the first time they play it, they might be like, well, there seems to be a lot of rules, but the reality is it's pretty simple. Right. Yeah. I would say that older children like 
maybe nine or ten and above could get this game as well, yep. and I think enjoy it. So that that's a good thing as well. This could be a good family night game, uh, also. Great theme. Really liked the production. I thought it was fun, fun to play, and more importantly, I think uh, ninety minutes for a good game like this, I think, is always a always a good thing. So thanks for watching, guys. Once again, Chariots of Rome, designed by Sean Young from Victory Point Games. I've been Grant. And I've been Alexander. And I'm Brum. For theplayersaid.com. Thank you.